Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh, <clears throat> had to clear my throat there, you can tell. It's quite early in the morning. By number one, the fact that I've literally not spoken this morning other than to say good morning and goodbye to Alex. Number two, I've got the main light on. And that kind of makes me really sad because it means that we're gonna have to deal with bad lighting a lot coming up in the future in the vlogs. Which makes me really, really sad. I'm thinking about whipping out my studio lights again fairly soon. Just because I hate, I hate the shadows. Like, oh, it is just awful. But I'm just currently getting ready for a shoot day this morning. I'm heading into London with Holly, which I'm so excited about. And it really does feel like autumn this morning. Like, this is the first really autumnal morning that I feel like we have had. Like, it's a little bit breezy quite chilly i have i'll show you my outfit actually because i'm kind of loving it kick the suitcase out of the way but this is the first outfit that i'm shooting and i really really love it i'm so glad you guys told me to keep these um leather trousers because i did and i love them and i need to talk to you guys about this because i have found a trick with these um first of all it's just let you know jump is also caramel and so leather leggings are caramel and petite but they are too long on me and i was talking about that if you watched the caramel and haul recently but what i have done here is basically just folded them up because they're like i don't know if they're real leather or faux leather but because of the way they're kind of like the fabric is they just stick which I was like, well, that's handy. And another thing is that I have seen someone on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, cut their own leather leggings. And I realized that these actually have a raw hem. So if I was to cut them, it, oh, it was Charlotte. I think I was speaking to her in real life about it. Yeah, I think I was. But basically, I've seen that they have a raw hem. So I'm wondering, do I cut these or do I just carry on kind of rolling them like this and like folding them up? Let me know, because I'm not sure not really sure what to do um but got my suitcase here that i just need to fold in and get ready to go i've got so many cute outfits for today's shoot i'm really excited honestly this is the thing that i just really did not miss about autumn winter is the lighting oh my word this is absolutely horrendous but by the time i get there it will be bright and we will have daylight by the time we get into london but i should probably get myself my coat on got my, my uh, little Burberry trench that I'm wearing today. That's when you know it's chilly when I've got leather leggings and a Burberry trench. It is chilly this morning. Not that I'm complaining, I'm kind of loving it, but I'm just getting myself sorted. I think I'm gonna pick up a coffee at the station because I need some caffeine this morning. So let's get going to London. I'm in London now and I'm not gonna lie, been a bit of a blab vlogger, already done a couple of outfits and I'm here with Holly and we were literally just changing to the next look and we both put on the exact same <laughs> River Island blazer dress. It's cute dress. though. It is such it's a cute, cute dress. Though, but in that, like, can't Literally it. just didn't even realise we both just put it on then looked at each other and went, we're, oh my god, we're the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I will try and pick up the camera a bit more from now. Um, but we're in Pall Mall, which is like one of my favourite areas to shoot because it's just so nice and like quiet. Not that you know, because there are some builders over there right now they are making a bit of a racket but it's just so nice to shoot because it's just really like old stone old brick this is like proper london vibes for me and i absolutely love it raining so we have come to see refuge in the local prep. <laughs> it's gone so dark outside. I mean it looks worse because the lightning here is like very orange um, but we literally just had to sprint in the rain. My hair is definitely, well, I'm very flat, definitely need to wash it tonight but um, 
honestly it was so funny we just suddenly start, like, started feeling little drips and we both looked at each other and then it just went and we just ran it was so funny so yeah we're just seeking refuge hoping that the rain passes and that we can carry on shooting my hair could not be any flatter right now same <laughs> caught out in the rain about three times but we smashed it we absolutely, absolutely smashed it. i'm really I proud think we of surprised us ourselves we did like yeah got some really great pics yeah. we even did a fit check of our matching outfits you would have already seen that on the ground um it's very so, cute very cute um so yeah we're just gonna cab on the way back to the station now i'm very ready to get home i think i need a shower <laughs> yeah look oh my god <laughs> it rained on like three times yeah. so it's kind of understandable we've still got <laughs> high spirits we're still in good moods um we yeah just really glad to <laughs> you good morning it is the next day now I am washed, dressed, makeup, showered. I got home last night and literally just jumped straight in the shower and washed my hair. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in London, especially when it's like central London, all I want to do when I get home is just shower it off of me. Like just wash it all off of me. I just feel really like unclean whenever I'm back from London. I feel like there's a lot of like pollution in my hair and it just kind of like builds up um so i was like just jump in the shower when i get home i think it's especially like when you're in central london there's obviously loads of cars and taxis and you're in taxis or you're on the tube and like there's just a lot there which is kind of like one of the reasons why i love where we live because it's like just outside of london so it's really easy for me to get into central like it takes less than an hour for me to get into central london but I get to leave. <laughs> like, I love London. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. But I've always kind of said I just don't think I could ever live in London because I just I hate the feeling of, like, being unclean and, like, unless I was to live, you know, West London or kind of the outskirts, which, let's be honest, is very expensive, I just don't think I would be able to, like, enjoy it because I just, I want to come home. I want to feel clean. I want to feel like I'm leaving it all behind, if that makes sense. So that is one of the things I just love about where we live. But... I've just currently been doing my makeup this morning and I had a new little product arrive so I thought we could unbox it together and open it together and experience the first impressions together. So it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher and wow that is very bright. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You can literally just see the reflection of the vlogging camera in there. Um, I've seen a couple of girls doing ads for this. Now this isn't an ad at all. This is just um, PR. They sent it to me. I'm on their PR list. They usually send me products to try, test out, see if I like them. Um, and I'm very excited to try this. I love the Laura Mercier setting powder, like the original one. I use it a lot, especially if I've got like long days. I actually wore it yesterday. I usually will team it, especially if I do like long days in London. I'll team it with the MAC Fix Plus spray. And I find it amazing because it really just keeps your makeup in place. Like we got rained on three times yesterday. And even though my hair was a mess and like my mascara had started like, you know, just kind of smudging under my eyes, my face makeup, was not budging i was very very happy about that and i've been wearing masks i've been getting caught in the rain i've been running to coffee shops like it was a lot happening yesterday and i was really really impressed i'm really excited about this because this is basically a bit more of an illuminating one and i do sometimes find i think because i don't have the most oily skin like i have fairly dry matte kind of skin i'll like use a foundation that'll get my skin really glowy and i'm like yes love it and then i'll set it with powder and be like mm just looks a little bit flat so i feel like this is going to be the kind of powder that like you use around the areas that you don't want to look flat like obviously not your chin maybe not your forehead maybe not your nose but like around kind of your cheeks and like the areas that you just want to glow i feel like this is going to be a great setting powder oh look at the packaging that's just absolutely stunning i love it so there's three different shades i've got the press release here um there's three different shades we've got celestial light honey star and cosmic rose so you've obviously got your light, your medium, and your dark. So just to like read out what they've kind of said about the um, the product. So they've said Celestial Light is a champagne beige for fair to light skin tones. Honey Star is a golden peach for medium skin tones. And Cosmic Rose is a bronzed rose for medium deep to deep skin tones. And they're all available and look fantastic. So I will link each shade down below for you guys to shop. I think this is going to be a great fake tan shade for me. I think if I was like my more natural colour, I would definitely be along the lines of Celestial Light because i am pale when i don't have fake tan on um but oh, i just absolutely love it does any does anything give you much more joy than when you get to peel this off i think not okay so i've just got the smallest bit on this sheer powder brush this is just a bobby brown brush but it's great for powder i've got my mirror here so i'm just going to oh i do really like that 
that is really nice that's nice and just like giving me a little bit of powder keeping my makeup in place but it's not taking away any glow of my foundation or anything i think you can almost like barely see that it's on there which i quite like that i really like that it's not too like it's not a highlighter you know you're not going to wear it in place of your highlighters you're just going to be able to wear it over actually to be fair i wouldn't be afraid to wear this on my forehead and chin maybe if you're oily skinned you wouldn't want to but i'm not oily skinned and i love that <gasps> that is absolutely gorgeous oh that is definitely going straight into my makeup bag and probably going to become my everyday powder because that is just perfect when you don't want to completely mattify your face but you need a little bit extra to kind of just like keep your foundation in place make sure that the product doesn't move that is absolutely stunning so that one is honey honey star so i'll link all three color shades down below if you didn't want to shop any of them but i am very very impressed i feel like it's almost like airbrushed my skin a little bit as well i'm loving it yes laura mercier so we have just had a new little parcel arrive today and i wanted to unbox it with you guys and go through it and i thought we could have a little bit of a chat because i was talking a lot about this with holly yesterday and i really love talking about these kinds of things like i love chatting about positivity the power of positive thinking the power of manifestation and kind of like i am a big believer in kind of taking control of your own life and like really using energy in order to kind of like manifest things work towards goals um i'm like a huge believer in kind of like positivity and hard work and i really really believe in that i mean holly were talking about it yesterday and i just thought it'd be a really nice like chat we could sit down have a little bit of discussion about it um and i was kind of inspired as well like i thought this was perfect timing that this has arrived because i was like well this has really helped me in the past year in terms of this kind of thing so it's a new little delivery from carrie co um i have a little note here from carrie it was really really kindly it sent me it from carrie herself and honestly carrie co diaries are just the best like my 2021 it's actually literally just there let me grab it my 2021 diary has genuinely been like an absolute lifesaver um i have like so much paper in here i have so many things where i've like gone through this and i utilize like every aspect of the diary and that's why it's just my favorite i mean you can kind of tell just how much it's been used and abused because there's like so much denting and like the back is all scratched up but i mean oh well like it's designed to be used and it goes to show how much use i've gotten so carrie just left a little note saying hi ellie i hope you love your planner and notebook and that they help make your 2022 the best year ever with love from carrie so i thought we could unbox this can we just first of all appreciate the gorgeous packaging now one thing i will say guys is that these diaries i think make the perfect christmas gifts or like the perfect if you've got any birthdays coming up i think they're such a nice gift to give to someone um and they're just so like thoughtful so luxurious so high quality so i would definitely recommend i will of course link to carry code down below in the description because they've got loads of different um like styles at the moment they've released a new one as well and i love the fact that they always have a little um note i actually have one i used to have it i don't know if you guys will ever remember i used to have it taped to one of the picture frames in my dressing room and it wasn't until i only like replaced it when i replaced the picture frames and i forgot to put it back up but this one says dream big darling and then go make wonderful things happen so i love that i feel like you can just like take that up somewhere and like remind yourself of that but they've been so so sweet to send over first of all a dare to dream notebook now this is the new design that they've released this year it's like a really cute little like looks like you've doodled all over it but it's like in a gold foil which i think is so cool i assume this is just a plain notebook yeah oh i really like this oh it's a manifestation notebook guys okay so this is how to use this manifestation notebook Every single one of us has brilliance and magic within. If you're anything like me, you probably have lots of ideas running through your head, which is why I created this manifestation notebook. It's a perfect place for you to get creative and write down all of your ideas when inspiration strikes so that you can start manifesting your dreams. Oh, I love that. Now your creativity to flow. Oh my gosh, that's so, so lovely. So this is literally just a manifestation journal. Oh, I don't actually have a manifestation journal at the moment. So I really, really like the idea of this. I really want to make an effort over the next few months and within the next year to really like journal a lot more because I used to journal loads. And then in all honesty, I just got too busy. Actually, that's a lie. What happened, first of all, was 
COVID struck and I didn't feel like I had anything to journal about and I kind of fell off the bandwagon and then I got too busy. So I really want to make more of an effort to journal. So I love that. And then the piece de resistance from Carico is their diary. Now they have it in two, two, three colors, I think, in this size. And they also have like a mini size, which I was contemplating on getting, but I write a lot and I was like, I just don't know if there's gonna be enough room in the mini size for me. So I got exactly the same as I had before. The gorgeous pink color just says perfectly planned 2022. So old and new. Um, so yeah, in here we have just such an amazing collection of like, so we've got a little introduction to the notebook, just coming a bit closer so I can see, you guys can see it properly. Um, and then one of the things that I love the most about this is there's really great like goal setting and like um, kind of like aspirational things to work towards, things you're manifesting. Um, so we've got amazing achievements a year in review. So this is like a big overall kind of year roundup, which I really, really like things to work on. What did you not achieve? Why didn't you achieve them? Oh, there's some new things here. So take some time to think about what you achieved this year, the things you want to do and ultimately how you want to feel. Prioritize your top goals 2022. Okay, so there's a few new like pages, which I quite like. 2022 goals, we've got money goals, marketing goals, like an overview. And one thing I really like as well is they do quarterly plans, which I think is great because as well as like the monthly plans it's really nice to be able to look back on the last like three months and think how far you've come what you've been able to achieve um so yeah so this is what the quarterly plan looks like and it's basically just like a big grid and you can write out like january february march what your goals are kind of your deadline for it what you want to achieve um so yeah i really love that and then one of my favorite things as well is at the end of every month there's a big page about like the month that you can write down so it's like what have you achieved what's your income been this month um like it's definitely a planner i would say for entrepreneurs because there's so much in it that i just think is so so handy and i definitely think that i can attribute my kind of 100k achievement to how much this diary has helped me like in terms of manifestation and i've just been really really like committed every month to sitting down writing out goals seeing what works um and just kind of taking accountability i think for me the biggest things in terms of manifestation is like taking accountability uh, taking accountability of your own actions and things like that and just being able to be like okay what didn't work right why didn't it work what could i could have like improved on and things like that and just at the start of every month i will literally sit down and like I am such a data nerd and I love going through like analytics and stats and data and like obviously you guys are very vocal in terms of what you like but there are some people that are very like passive engagers I think that's probably the right term so they maybe don't comment what they like but they maybe don't like things but I can just see it through like the stats and stuff um and I'd say that like maybe about 60 to 80 percent of people that kind of like engage in my content are quite passive engagers and they're maybe not quite as vocal they don't like outwardly say i want to see this um or i liked this outfit and that's something that you kind of have to interpret yourself through the data and i really really love doing that like one thing i always say to people in terms of like influencing content creating that kind of thing is like you have no idea how much goes on behind the scenes and like how much planning goes ahead how much um like analysts, analysts, analytics, analysis, analysis goes into the data and stuff like that. And I definitely think that's like a big attribution to my like 100K achievement that I hit recently. And it was honestly just one of those things where when I first started this job, a job, not even a job, it wasn't a job when I first started, like eight years ago, it has been a long time coming. And I always get questions from people being like, how have you grown so quickly? And the answer is I haven't. Like, I literally haven't. It's been eight years that I've, like, taken to get to this point. And some people get there in two years. Some people get there in ten years. You know, it's, like, such a different story for everyone. But I'm so happy with, kind of, how my story has, like, progressed. Because I feel like I really just know you guys so well. And, like, we're such a lovely community. And I just really, really enjoy this space. And one of the biggest things I always say to people in terms of growth. Um, and this is something that I've repeated so much on Q&A. So... OG followers are probably really bored of me saying this, but whenever people say, how do you grow your followers? Or like, how should I kind of focus on growing? Or, you know, how do I look to get new followers? And my answer is don't, don't focus on growth. Don't focus on getting new followers. Don't even think about it. As soon as you start to think, I want to grow, I want to 
hit this much i want to you've already lost the game i think the most important thing in this community and this kind of like job is in all honesty, I don't care about like new people coming in if the people who are already here don't want to be around. What's the point in gaining 600 followers in a day if you're going to lose another 500? I'd much rather gain 200 followers in a day and not lose any because overall that works out like more. But it's never been about growth. It's never been about like what's the next, you know, how can I get to the next? It's always been for me about how can I make this community the most fun community to be in, the most engaging community, how can we have a chat, can we do some polls, like I just want this to be such a fun environment and I want the people who are already in it to want to stay in it, I don't, I mean, I feel like, not I don't care about new people coming in, but like, follower growth is almost like a byproduct of that, my focus has always been a really fun, engaging, special place on the internet to be, and then people will find you from that and go, that's a really fun, engaging, special place to be. I want to join it too. So it's never been about like getting new people and it's always been about keeping that community. And like that for me, I think is like the most important thing. So I always sit down and think about what I'm grateful for. I'm so, so grateful for every single one of you. I really am trying to um, journal more in terms of like my gratitude journal and stuff because I really do feel like when you express gratitude, more good things come in. And when you take accountability into your own hands and be like, I am grateful because I have achieved this. I'm grateful because I have done this. It really kind of like brings the power back to you. And I just really, really love that. And I get really inspired whenever I talk about these kinds of things, if you can tell. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and like, I know not everyone's gonna agree and not everyone's gonna see the same kind of um see it in the same way that i do like even alex doesn't really see it in the same way that i do and whenever i talk about positive thinking he just like gives me a little eye roll i was like okay babe and it's so difficult because you're like it does work and you're like honestly like i really really believe that i have manifested 100k and like through my actions through my positive thinking through the gratitude that i show and through i think the acceptance of like I know it's in my own hands and do you know what, if we don't hit it, that's okay. But what matters most is keeping this really tight knit, engaged community and that's what's always been the most important thing to me. So I just wanted to have a little bit of chat with about that because I felt like it was kind of like perfect timing, the fact that my new little diary arrived. So I've got this now ready for New Year's. I usually sit down like just after Christmas between that period between Christmas and New Year's, the, the like no man's land of, um, time i usually like to sit down and do like a little plan and a little manifestation and a bit of kind of like goal setting i'm a big big goal setter i love looking into the future seeing what i can kind of like achieve what i can do what brands i can work look to work with um like that kind of thing i just love it you know like the bags that i treat myself to is like um little like celebrations and um yeah i'm like a huge huge goal setter I love looking at what I can achieve. I love looking back and being grateful for what I've already achieved. And I just love the power of manifestation. So yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat about that. I will link down below the Carico Diaries if you did want to shop them. This obviously isn't an ad for Carico. I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat. And I know this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it's something that's really close to my heart. So I wanted to have a little bit of a chat about it. Just to show you a little bit more detail as well in the manifestation journal, I actually really like how simple it is. Um, so obviously we've just got the kind of little introduction here. Feel free to pause and screenshot if you want to um, read that in more detail. Um, and then this is just like, allow your creativity to flow. And then the rest of them are kind of just blank pages. Um, so it says top recommendations, use this space to write out books you wanna read, podcasts you want to listen to, people you want to follow, things like that. Um, and then the rest of them are literally just blank pages. So it's actually a super simple one. Um, but what I tend to do is just kind of write down whatever I want that day, whether I'm writing down a full diary entry of what happened that day, whether I'm writing down three things I'm grateful for, whether I'm writing down goals that I want to achieve. I think it's really nice. Just anything that comes to mind, just jot it down. I think it's a great way to kind of like manifest things and write down what you're wanting to achieve. One big tip I will say when it comes to writing down things that you want, I find that in terms of like positive thinking and manifestation, never write I want to or I want to have this or I want to achieve this it's all about like believing it's already yours basically and believing that you kind of like deserve it almost so it's like I usually just write down um I got this from what is her name 
she writes the the ones that's like i'm a badass um i cannot remember her name for the life of me i will link her books down below i usually listen to them on audible because like i feel like i find her very inspiring um she's kind of similar in terms of like sarah knight in the sense of she's quite like witty sarcastic american but like almost has a bit of a british sense of humor um and i really really love her like podcasts or not podcasts sorry books audiobooks and one thing that she kind of suggested doing is instead of writing i want or i wish it's i am so happy and grateful now that and it's showing gratitude for things that aren't even yours yet but believing that they are so whether it's like with the rover like i am so happy and grateful now that i drive a range rover i'm so happy and grateful now that we own our dream house i'm so happy and grateful now that i've bought the marlboro bag that i've always wanted like it's believing that they're already yours um, is a really, really big part of it. So instead of writing like, I want to make £10,000 in the next month, I want to sign a collaboration. It's, I am so happy and grateful now that I've signed that collaboration and just believing that it's already yours. So yeah, absolutely love those. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit more insight into that manifestation one. Because I know a lot, a lot of people know about manifestation, really understand it. Um, I definitely, I would li recommend listening to The Secret, but I do find that that's a little bit much for a lot of people like it's very dong, you know calming music and believing it's yours and you're so powerful and i found that one a little bit like it was a bit hard to swallow in all honesty for me so i much prefer i'm gonna get my phone up and find out her name because otherwise it's gonna drive me nuts jen sincero Sin sincero sincero Jensen Kara. I will link down below her books if you do want to shop any of them because they are fabulous. Um, the best ones I would recommend are You're a Badass and You Are a Badass at Making Money. And then there's another one, Badass Habits. It wasn't quite my favourite. I think You're a Badass at Making Money was my favourite one because it's just so, like it hit home with me in so many different ways. Um, so I'll link them down below as well if you did want to listen to them. Um, but yeah, absolutely love those books. So excited to now have them. So I thought before I ended today's vlog, I've just had a new little parcel arrive from my lovely postie. Um, honestly, I feel like we're best mates at this point. Like we have little chats. Um, <laughs> the amount of time to work, especially if it's a big parcel, he doesn't want to come all the way up with the parcel, so he'll usually knock to check I'm in, and then be like, I'll be back in a minute. And I'm always just there like, so how's things? How's things going? Um, so anyway, I've had a new little parcel arrive from Forever New. So I thought we could unbox it together. There's just a few bits in there that they've been very kind to send me over from their new autumn winter collection. They have so many gorgeous pieces. I will link to Forever News new in section because you guys are going to want to shop the new in section that's all i'm going to say because there are so many cute pieces so i thought we could unbox what's in the box together okay now first up is this absolutely stunning coat i absolutely adore this it's really really simplistic like it literally only has this tiny little popper and i love these kind of like pea style coats this gorgeous like oat mealy color oh it's absolutely stunning i think this is real wool i'm gonna assume but it just has the most stunning lining look at this like champagne color i absolutely adore that i find that if you have like lighter colored linings it can really emphasize your outfit and like often i find with coats it can be quite tricky because obviously it takes over the entirety of the outfit but i find that if you have this like lighter colored lining you can still see a lot of the outfit underneath so i absolutely love that i picked that up in a I believe it was a UK 12, it says Aussie 10, Euro 30, I think that's the 12. But it's just absolutely stunning, and like even just these little design features, like look at that little gold bit there for you to like hang it on the door handle. I love that so much, that's absolutely gorgeous. This coat is such a vibe, oh it's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of similar in style to the recent one I picked up from New Look, but very different in the sense of this is just a lot more fitted and just a little bit more kind of like, it's a bit shorter, it's a bit kind of, Oh, can't get that there we go um it's a bit more formal in my opinion i really really like it. i need to um break open the pockets but oh it's absolutely stunning also in case you're wondering yes i am styling this outfit up with my little slippers i will link these down below if you want to shop them they're the fluffiest things in the world because it's cold so i'm wearing my slippers today um but i really really like it i think it's absolutely gorgeous i love how like fitted and structured it is this is the perfect office coat workwear coat meetings coat i absolutely adore it so i'll link it down below it is so so beautiful and then, because you guys know we're a big fan a big fan of florals for spring 
look how gorgeous this is this is kind of similar in style to my karen Mellon one in the sense it's got these really like big oversized florals but where the karen Mellon one had much like white it had white undertones this one's got black undertones so it makes it almost a little bit more autumnal which i really really like i think it's just so gorgeous it's like a very me style this kind of skater dress with the little like cinched in waist i absolutely love and elasticated cinched in waist because it's just so comfortable and i think these dresses are beautiful with like a leather jacket maybe a pair of knee-high riding boots or if you're wanting to do the outfit up a little bit knee high heeled boots would be beautiful i just love this and then also you can style up like thermals underneath to keep you warm it's got this really gorgeous kind of like almost sheer sleeves but i think if you were to wear like a black sleeve top underneath it wouldn't you wouldn't notice because obviously it's got a black like undertone so i really like this one i think this was absolutely beautiful i picked this one up in a 10 and i just adore it this isn't just the most early dress you've ever seen in your life then i don't know what is this is stunning absolutely stunning and one thing i really like as well is because of the elasticated waist you can kind of adjust the length how you want so you can pull it down a bit longer if you want it on your knees or what i've just done is kind of like ruched it up a little bit pulled it up around the waist and then it just cinches in the no pulls up the length <laughs> can't get my words out today pulls up the length a little bit and it just looks absolutely stunning i love it so much even though the sleeves are a little bit kind of sheer like as you can see there i definitely think you'll be able to get away with wearing a thermal underneath especially if it's like a black or skin colored thermal i love the color as well it's just very like casual but really really nice i think this is such a gorgeous dress and i would definitely be up for wearing this with tights and boots in winter when it starts to get really really chilly if you're someone that loves that feminine style in autumn but you still want to be able to like you know wear very autumnal friendly pieces i would definitely recommend picking this up they also had it in a couple of other colors so i'll link them down below as well if you do want to shop them but i am so so in love with this and then lastly is another one that i'm going to be adding into my evening wear wardrobe i know we've spoken about it quite a lot here on the channel but i really love curating a perfect evening wear wardrobe and actually i've definitely noticed an increase in kind of just like how easy i'm finding it to get ready for like evening stuff um like we had alex's parents over and we went out for like a nice meal and um alex's mum did the usual like oh what are you wearing tonight and i just went oh i think i'm gonna wear it, it was like the karen Mellon cross top and a pair of black wide leg trousers and i didn't really have to give it a second thought and i was just like yeah i'm just gonna wear that like i know it looks good i know it's comfortable i know i'll be able to eat in it and it's so nice to have a few pieces in my wardrobe that are like that and that i can just reach for and i know they're gonna look amazing so i picked up this stunning navy blue satin dress i mean this is gorgeous now of course we're gonna have a lot a lot of evening do's coming up over the next couple of months in november and december coming up to the christmas period i I've spoken to so many people about Christmas and I feel like everyone is going ham this year for Christmas because we just haven't been able to for like two years. So it's going to be so nice to actually be able to like enjoy Christmas. So I absolutely love this. I really, really love the navy blue. I feel like navy blue this year is huge. I actually was helping my sister get ready for an interview the other day and um, she only had a navy blue blazer but she wanted to wear this like gorgeous pair of black trousers and I was like, wear them together. She kept looking at me like, I was like, no, seriously, put them on together. You're going to love it. And she put them together and went, I actually kind of do love it. I was like, navy and black this year is such a in colour combo. So I feel like this dress with a black blazer and a black bag and a pair of little black heels, I am obsessed. So yeah, and I'm really excited about the fact that the straps are adjustable. I know that's going to be like the first question that people ask. The straps are adjustable, so it will fit as petite girls. But I just love cow necks. I think they're really, really flattering. And this kind of like satiny slip style dress just never goes out of style. Is there any way you're going to take me seriously styling up this dress with a big pair of fluffy slippers? Probably not, but here we are. I love the dress oh my gosh it's absolutely stunning this cow neck is beautiful and i've just started up with a strapless bra the bra that i had on before wouldn't have worked because it was um like strapped i've just realized that the these are so long that it actually was going onto my tummy that's so funny um <laughs> i'll definitely have to cut these out but oh my word it's just gorgeous the navy blue i think is so stunning i've spoken about this a couple of times before but if you're someone that doesn't like going for black i definitely recommend trying navy blue because i find it a very very flattering color it's less harsh than black but still just as elegant just as beautiful i love the length as well it's actually a really really lovely length very sophisticated with a little pair of black heels and the little side slit is perfect you guys know we love a side slit so we can just see a little bit of leg and it just skins you so nicely i've tried lots of different slatin 
kind of slit dresses before where they just haven't quite sat right they've sat a bit too much here but this I think is beautiful the way that they kind of like silhouette is cut means it really comes in at your waist and out at your hips and I find that a very very flattering look so yeah absolutely in love with this dress I definitely recommend picking it up I'll see if they have a couple of other colors if they do they will be linked down below Right, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here because it's probably gotten long enough because I do ramble, don't I? But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed having some rather deep chats with me. I feel like I don't often talk about that kind of like outside of my life as much. And like, I know that it's obviously not a controversial topic, but it's just not, not one that everyone loves. So I just kind of want to be mindful of that. But I just really wanted to sit down and have that chat today because I'm very passionate about it, as you guys will be able to tell. But I would love to know what your opinions are about like the power of kind of positive thinking, manifestation, whether it's something you practice yourself daily, whether it's something you've never even heard of. Um, let's have a conversation. We'll have some constructive chats in the comments. Even if you don't believe in it, I'd love to like maybe hear your opinions or your experiences because I think everyone's opinion is completely valid and you might not agree with me with mine, but that's perfectly okay. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about kind of like manifestation, positivity, owning your own life. I would love to hear your opinion but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.